It's bank holiday Monday and we have been really lazy. Yes, yes we have. Even the good cat has been really lazy. Pretty much, like last night was great sleep wise. Scout went down at about half past eight, didn't wake up till half past one. Went back down at about two. Then he didn't wake up. This is from the boy who wakes up at four o'clock every morning. Didn't wake up until six, well, 20 past six. Amazing. And then, he was awake for about an hour and a half and then went back down to sleep again and we all didn't wake up till half past ten so what? I don't know what went on with that but I'm not going to complain so we've basically just been really really lazy this morning sitting downstairs watching some Buffy and Scout ate and then fell asleep again for two hours and then we ordered Domino's oops we got some pizza and it's now nearly half past three it is pouring with rain, it hasn't stopped raining all day. It's one of those days where we just feel like being really lazy and just being complete bums. So I'm gonna go get in bed in bed in bed in bed. I'm going to go get back into bed in a minute because I'm having a really crappy feeling day. Liam is doing stuff on his PC. Scout is down here in his swing. Looking like he's gonna fall asleep again actually been an angel today and yeah that's pretty much how the day is gonna go because well if we wanted to leave the house we'd get wet mm -hmm. and we can't be bothered doing that so there is that there's so many things I could be doing today but my brain just won't let me my brain's just like no just chill and be lazy and do nothing sounds way better Morning, Mr. Scout is talkative. I'm being a talkative little bear. That was a little laugh then. I'm being a talkative little bear. She's not now the camera's on, Mum, because you know, shy and all that. You're not shy. So I didn't sleep good last night. Scout slept wonderful, but for some reason, I could, once he like woke up for his feed at I think it was about half past twelve last night. When he went back down, I just couldn't settle. I felt like I was going to get a pain. So I took a painkiller just to kind of like nip it in the bud straight away. And I didn't get a pain. Um, obviously that, that crampy feeling I was starting to get before I had the pain was just there. So either the painkiller worked or I wasn't going to get one in the first place. But because of that, I was just like really anxious. So I didn't sleep. So Liam went off to work this morning at like half seven and Scout fell asleep. He was awake at six, ten to six. And he fell back to sleep about half past seven. So we slept until ten, which is good because that means I actually feel rested now rather than really incredibly tired. But we're going to go change your boot now, aren't we? And put some warm clothes on you because it's been raining all morning and all night and all day yesterday. And I really didn't film yesterday. Um, I don't even know why. I just didn't. And I'm sorry. I'm getting really bad at this. Which isn't good. And Liam has completely given up apparently. He just doesn't take his camera out. He doesn't really talk to the camera much unless I tell him to. So Luna do not get in his motors basket puss cat. So yeah. I'm going to have to try and persuade Liam to uh, vlog a little bit more maybe. Because... I bet you're all getting really tired of my face. Because I don't really do much all day, every day. This little guy had a, like an hour and a half nap on me. I could not move. I was stuck. And he's leaked through his nappy. So it's time for a nappy change. Time for a nappy change? Yes. Oh, what's that face? Maybe a poop is happening. All clean. All clean and dry. New trousers on. Those ones are wet. Yeah. So we go feed you? Want some food? You hungry? The dog's gonna fall on you. Any minute now. Excuse me, pup. Still without his cone, guys. He's still very itchy. We still have to keep telling him not to itch himself. But he's a much happier dog without his cone on. And he couldn't do this before. Ugh. I'm getting a wash from the dog butt. You scratched your ear again. This bit to here is bleh. Excuse me, dog. Excuse me. Excuse me, happy. Happy. 
The only problem we have with bug now is that now it's getting into like autumn winter weather and it's been pouring with rain non-stop for like the past 24 hours. He will not go outside to pee because this dog hates the rain. So yeah, we've got a, a challenge ahead, haven't we? We've got a challenge ahead with you, sir. Oh. Hmm? You have mama? Okay. We are picking him up from work and I just glanced back at Scout and I'm pretty sure he's pooping right now. He's pulling some funny faces. <laughs> so he's been really needy today. I don't know whether he's going through his 12 week, sort of 3 month growth spurt. But he hasn't really wanted to eat much in the past couple of days, but he's been doing an awful lot of sleeping. And then when he's awake, he doesn't want to be like lying down. He doesn't want to be sitting still. He wants to be standing up and he wants to be like bouncing or just ent completely entertained. And he's, it's kind of just happened in the past two days. And it's, it's really strange how tiring that is. I honestly didn't think how tiring it would be just holding him upright for an hour. But he fell asleep just, he had like an ounce out of a bottle um, just before he came out and he fell asleep. So we tried to put him in his car seat and he woke up and he's wide awake now. You listening to me talk on your chicken. I'm pretty sure he's figured out that he can like look into his mirror at the back there, that mirror there. And then I'm pretty sure he's figured out that he can see me somehow. I don't know, I don't know if he's just looking as to where my voice is coming from, but it definitely looks like he's looking in that mirror. He's definitely, he definitely like glances, like, it looks like he's looking at me. Whether he is or not is another matter. I'm waiting for daddy now and then we're going to go to the shop. Because I went to have lunch, not only did we have no milk and no coffee this morning, which I knew anyway, but I was going to go to the shop had it been for the fact that Scout wasn't so fussy, I would have already gone. but. We had no milk and no coffee to start the day off badly anyway. <laughs> and then, so breakfast was fine. I sorted breakfast out. And then I went to have lunch and we had no sandwich filler, nothing to go in a sandwich. We had no eggs. I couldn't even do like poached eggs on toast. I couldn't do dippy eggs. I couldn't do anything. I had peanut butter on toast for lunch. So I've had a bowl of granola with some yogurt and two slices of toast. I'm really, really hungry. And it's not the most nutritious and I'm trying to be better at eating because of this whole like pain thing and because of my milk supply and because I want to lose some weight so it's like this isn't helping so we need to go to the shop we're gonna go to the shop we can get some milk get some coffee because this morning I did not know what I was doing functioning without coffee and maybe some food because food would be helpful I don't even know whether we've got anything in house for dinner because it's like payday this week, so at the end of this week, so we're really coming to the end, and now he cries. Scout's no longer interested in a milk bottle. He wants to eat his daddy's face or shoulder. He's be still being a difficult little so and so, isn't he, babe? Yeah. And I'm being attacked by this one. And this one peed on the kitchen floor this morning. I'm pooed. Oh, I'm pooed. So. That's fun. On the plus side, she did it while I wasn't here. Yay! Buggy, stop itching. This is why you had the cone on for all those months. Stop itching. Good boy. Stop licking me too. Stop licking me too. Gross boy. He's like rubbing his chin on me. Stop, mum, stop. Stop. Teeth. Thank you. Balance practice. Should we move that pillow? Oh, you're alright, I can pretty much see him. It's just the way his arms are going like. <laughs> so I'm holding his, his leg, I'm holding his sort of him at the hips so that he's kind of keeping his top half quite balanced. And he's having a rough time with that, to be honest. <laughs> Look at his little neck. Look how strong his head is. He just took a step. He genuinely <laughs> just tried to take a step. He went... Oh, <laughs> jeez. Sorry, matey. Scouty pants. Go 
did he? I think he's dribbling. I think he's concentrating. And I'm still being bombarded by the dog. Scratched his ear. Scratched your ear, mister. I put them back there and we sort of went all oh, the foot. In those slippers. <laughs> In the slippers, everybody. <laughs> ah. He's so big. It's eight o'clock and little mister is down already. He hasn't eaten much today. I think it must be his gross, he must be having a gross spell or something but he just hasn't wanted to eat and i think i said that earlier as well so i'm just doing some washing and i said to him you realize more when you have a baby how much you want a tumble dryer because we don't have one we haven't ever had one and doing washing like this takes a hell of a lot longer to dry when it's not warm because obviously when the sun's out and it's warm weather the sun coming through this window dries the washing but it's been pouring rain for the past two days and this washing is cold and has taken forever to dry. I don't even know that it's completely dry. It's just, I don't know, I'm fed up of looking at it. So yeah, we kind of really need a tumble dryer. But we don't even have a place to put one even if we did have one. So there's that. I think I might attempt to do a video tonight. I know my hair's a mess, but I might attempt to do some kind of makeup video possibly just have a little play around because I haven't played the makeup for a while. So I'm going to sign off for tonight. I know today's been very boring and totally not really anything fun to watch but hopefully tomorrow Scout will be in a bit of a better mood and be able to get some stuff done. Maybe go for a walk if it's not raining because I really want to start getting more active because I've hit a real big plateau on my weight and I haven't lost any weight for about a month now so it's driving me nuts. I thought the baby would have woken up then, but anywho, we'll just see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you're new. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. And this, this is Liam's teddy, and he seems to have attached himself to it in the last half an hour. <laughs>